it. Let us have a flashback and correct all our sins before him. He made us to know you. Allow iniquities in our heart. It's not going to hear our prayer. Our coming here must not be in vain. Our going back home must be full. That will be focused on him. Thank God this morning. That God should remove all these iniquities and be merciful enough to clean us. May God hear and answer our prayer this morning in Jesus' mighty name. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. World without end, amen. Let the church of God read this psalm after me. Out of this house have we cried unto you, O Lord. Lord, hear our voice. Let their hear be attentive to the voice of our supplications. If thou, Lord, should mark iniquity, O Lord, who shall stand? But there is forgiveness with thee, that thou may be feared. We wait for the Lord. Our soul dread wait, and in his word do we hope. Our soul wait for the Lord more than they that watch for the money. We say, more than they that watch for the money. Let the children of God hope in the Lord. For with the Lord there is mercy, and with him there is plenty of redemption, and he shall redeem us. From all our iniquities. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. The heaven declared the glory of God, and the firmament showed his handiwork. Day unto day utter speech, and night unto night showed knowledge. There is no speech nor language where their voice is not heard. Their line is gone out through all the earth, and their war to the end of the world. In them as he sets a tabernacle for the sun, which is as a bridegroom coming out of his chamber, and he rejoices as a strong man to run a race. His going forth is from the hand of heaven, and his circuit unto the hand of it. And there is nothing hid from thee, dear help. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. The status of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The commandment of the Lord is pure, enlightening the heart. The fear of the Lord is clean, enduring forever. The judgment of the Lord are true, and righteous altogether. More to be desired they than gold, ye than much fine gold, sweeter also than honey, and the honeycomb. Moreover, by them is thy servant warned, and in keeping them there is a great reward. Who can understand his errors? Clean out from all our secret faults, and keep back thy servant also from the transgression sins. Let them not have dominion over us. Then we shall be upright, and shall be innocent from the great transgression. Let the word of our mouth and the meditations of our heart be acceptable in thy sight. O oh Lord, our strength and our redeemer. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. Is now and thou sh- for your upon the Who shall ascend to the heed of the Lord? Or who shall stand in his holy place? He that had a clean hand 
and a pure heart, who has no lifted up his soul unto vanity, nor swear deceitfully. He shall receive the blessing from the Lord, and righteousness from the Lord of his salvation. This is the generation of them that seek him. That seek thy face, O Jacob. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be lifted up ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord who is strong and mighty, the Lord who is mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, even lift them up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts is the King of glory. Amen. Father, in Jesus' name. Father, in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Our Father and our God, we thank you. We appreciate you for everything you have been doing in our life. We thank you because when we started this year, you are with us. As we are going in this year, you are still with us. You see us through the end of July. And here we are in August. This is the first Sunday without any record of evil among us. Father, Lord, accept and this morning in Jesus' mighty name. We thank you because of our children. We thank you because of our travelers. We thank you because of each and every one of us and the families. We thank you bro, be, for everything you have accomplished in, in accordance as a group, as a band in the church, various harvest and thanksgiving, various achievements this year. Father, Lord, accept and thank this morning in Jesus' mighty name. Our Father and our God, we have confessed our sin before you, Almighty God. We don't want anything to stand as an obstacle against our prayer this morning. Kindly have mercy enough and forgive us in Jesus' mighty name. In various ways we have sinned against you, Lord. In various ways we have sinned against our fellow human beings. In various ways we have committed and do done things in our, in our own understanding against your ordinance. Be merciful enough this morning and forgive us in Jesus' mighty name. Those sins we have inherited from our family, those sins we have committed as a group in the church, as a church as a whole, be merciful enough this morning and forgive us in Jesus' mighty name. Our Father and our God, we pray this morning to give us a new spirit, a contra heart that will sin no more. The spirit that will make us flee away from sin, creating us this morning in Jesus' mighty name. Our Father and our God, we plead the blood of Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus. Sanctify and prepare us in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. All the four corners of this church, all the entrance of this church, physical and spiritual, let them be clean in Jesus' mighty name. We come against all the principalities and power, all the contrary spirit, and all the familiar spirit. And I want to stand against us and against our prayer today. Let them be consumed by the Holy Ghost fire in Jesus' mighty name. Our Father and our God, we are here this morning. We need that your power from heaven. We need the power of the Holy Spirit. Come and take absolute control in Jesus' mighty name. We plead the host of heaven to come and worship with us this morning. Let it be so in Jesus' mighty name. We have come here today with various petitions, with various uh, uh, state of mind. Meet us at the point of our need this morning. And let not our coming here be in vain in Jesus' mighty name. Our going back home, let it be full of blessing. And let it manifest immediately after this prayer. For we believe and pray in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. The Lord's Prayer. Our, our Father, who art in heaven, honor be to thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come. come. Thy, thy will, will be, be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And 
neither mock into temptation, but deliver her from evil. For thine is thy kingdom, thy power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. O Lord of sin and affirmation, sin and affirm our prayer today. Let the word of our mouth and the meditations of our hearts be acceptable in your sight. For we believe and pray in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen in Jesus' mighty name. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. We can do better than that. Amen. 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 Or are we cold? Amen. 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 We can do better than that. Paul and Silas, they were in prison. They sang, they prayed, and God moved. We are not in prison. Nothing is holding our mouth. Nothing is holding our hands. No chains on our legs. So we can do better than Paul and Silas. And God can do better than those days too. Shout hallelujah. Amen. Amen. This is the day that the Lord has made. The very first Sunday in the month of August. And I know the Lord will visit us specially in Jesus' name. We will continue our service by singing from our in book Thanksgiving song. Okay. 
You are 
Can we begin to worship the Lord? Begin to worship Him. You are the most high God. Jehovah Jireh, you are the most high. Jehovah, you are the most high God. Oh Lord, no thing I call it that duro. Yes, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes. I His mercy endureth forever. Amen. Goodness, he said, goodness and mercy shall follow us. Don't we enjoy his goodness? Don't we enjoy his mercy? Oh, the, uh, the Lord is good. A lot has been happening. Uh, not only in Chicago, all over the world. But God can trust worthy to receive that goodness and mercy. Let us uh, begin to thank God for all his goodness. Jesus, Jumini Senator Julo, and in your long, 
oba to n da ni bi to gbe won a da dudu to ba won a da pupa a da funfun eyin ni olorun a gbe yin ga ayin logo a fi wakati gbe yin ga lati nu wa a mu ope wa tori pe se un ninu aye wa tori pe anu yin duro lai la a n ri apa a wo agbara yin omo wa nlo layo won nbo layo ibi ti oju wa ko to eyin olorun en se olorun fun wa ibi ti owo wa ko lede en no wo agbara yin en je olorun fun wa olorun alagbara o ibi ti e se wa ko le rinde oluwa alagbara en de be fun wa agbe yin ga ayin logo oba to n pese ye to n pese mimu oba to tun da so asiri bo wa ope ini fun yin adupe dupe dupe ayin logo titi ojo wa ye wa la o ma gbe yin ga tori pe eyin ni olorun e gbo ope wa e gba yin wa leyin ipade ni e je ki ope wa ati ko ma ti wa lo adupe olorun alagba lori awon ara wa ton lo si indianapolis adupe fun ijo na ton lo ba tori pe e ma so kale sinu ijo na eyin le si won lo layo a pada bo layo adupe lori gbogbo awon arin ajo wa e gbo ope wa arin ni ajo la wa na eyin le mu wa debi layo at alafia ori ayo te so kale loni e je ko je age mo nu fun wa jesus oluwa wa ah o god of seal and affirmation Seal and affirm our prayers. Accept our thanksgiving. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Amen. Let us be seated for the Bible reading. The first Bible reading. First lesson shall be taken from the book of Peter, chapter 34, starting from verse 20 to 31. Ezekiel 34, from verse 20 to 31. And I read, Therefore, thus says the Lord God unto them, Behold, I, even I, will judge between the fat cattle and between the lean cattle. Because ye have dealt with pride and with shoulder, and put all the, de all the deceit with your hands, for ye have scattered them abroad. Therefore will I save my flock, and they shall no more be a prey. And how we judge between cattle and cattle, and how we set up one shepherd over them, and he shall feed them, even my servant David, I shall feed them, and he shall be their shepherd. And I, the Lord, will be their God, and my servant David, a king among them. I, the Lord, have spoken it. And I will make with them a covenant of peace, and they cut with evil the, the, the teeth out of their mouth. And they shall dwell safely, safely in the wilderness, and sleep in the woods. And I will make them and the places round about my hill a blessing. And I will cause the shower to come down in a season. They shall be shower of blessing. And the tree of the field shall yield a fruit. And the earth shall yield a increase. And they shall be saved in their land. And shall know that I am the Lord. Which when I have set, when I have broken the bands of their yoke and deliver them out of the hand of those that set themselves of them. And they shall no more be a prey, a prey to the herdsmen, neither shall the beast of the land devour them. But they shall dwell safely, and none shall make them afraid. And I will raise up for them a branch of renown, and they shall be no more consumed with hunger in the land. Neither bear the shame of the eating any more. Such shall they know that I, the Lord your God, am with them, and that they, even the house of Israel, are my people, saith the Lord 
Testament, but he won the Shisha Life Fair. And he, my flock, the flock of my pasture, are men, and I am your God, saith the Lord God. This is the word of God for the people. Glory be to the Father, to the be seated for the second Bible reading. The second Bible reading shall be taken from the book of 2 Corinthians 9, 1 to 12. 2 Corinthians 9, 1 to 12. Now I read. For as touching the ministering to the saints, it is superfluous for me to write to you. For I know the overwardness of your mind, for which I boast of you to them of Macedonia, that Asian was ready a year ago, and your zeal hath provoked very many. Yet have I sent the brethren, lest our boasting of you should be in vain in this behalf. That as I said, ye may be ready. Lest haply if they of Macedonia come with me and find out, I found you unprepared. We that will say not ye should be ashamed in this same confident boasting. Therefore, I thought it necessary to exhort the brethren that they will go before unto you and make up beforehand your bounty whereof ye have noticed before, that the same might be ready as a matter of bounty and not as confessiousness. But this I say, he which soweth springly shall reap also springly. And he which soweth bountifully shall reap also bountifully. Every man according as he purposes in his heart. So let him give not grungily or of necessity. For God loveth a cheerful giver. And God is able to make all grace abound towards you, that ye always having all sufficiency in all things may abound to every good work. As it is written, he hath dispersed abroad. He hath given to the poor. His righteousness remaineth forever, remain forever. Now he that ministered, see to the sower, both minister bread for your food, and multiply your seed sown, and increase the fruit of your righteousness. Eleven being enriched in everything to all bountifulness, which causeth through us thanksgiving to God. And 12, the last verse. For the administration of this service not only supplied the want of the sin, but is abundant also by many thanksgiving unto God. This is the word of God for the people of God. Oh, go ni fu ba ba. Oh, go ni fu omo. Oh, go ni fu e mi ni mo. Meta lo ko la la. Amen. 
church of God, can we rekindle our faith in the Lord by reciting the Apostles' Creed? Let the church repeat after me. I believe in God, the Father Almighty. I believe in God, the Father Almighty. Maker of heaven and earth. Maker of heaven and earth. And in Jesus Christ, and in Jesus his Christ, only Son, our Lord. His only Son, our Lord. Who was conceived by the Holy Ghost. And was conceived by the Holy Ghost. Born of the Virgin Mary. Born of the Virgin Mary. Suffered under Pontius Pilate. Suffered under Pontius Pilate. Was crucified. Dead and buried. He descended into hell the third day. He rose again from the dead. He ascended into the heaven and seated on the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence, he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit. The Holy Church of the Elects, the communion of the saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. May God be with you. Let us pray. In Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, King of Kings, Lord of Lords, Father, we thank you for this wonderful day. Thank you for the gift of life. We thank you for feeding. We thank you for provision. We thank you for clothing. We thank you for protection. We thank you for our continued existence. Father, take our thanks and adoration in Jesus' Amen. name. Amen. Father, we thank you because you've been Lord in every aspect of our life. We thank you over the church of the Lord. We thank you because the Holy Spirit has not deserted us. We thank you because things have not been bad for us. We thank you because you have been our hope in every situation we find ourselves. Father, take our thanks and adoration in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we pray for the gift of the Spirit. The gift of the, gift of the Spirit we need in order to navigate the complication of life, Father. Grant to us, to, uh, grant to unto us in Jesus' name. Amen. The gift of the Spirit where our kids shall start to portray Christianity in them. The gift of the Spirit where we will live like the Lord day to day in everything we do. Father, let it abide with us in Jesus' name. Amen. The gift of the Spirit that we would use to spread the word. The gift of the Spirit that will earn us a place in your kingdom, Father. Grant to us unto all of us in Jesus' name. We pray. Amen. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. I say that King of Kings, Holy Son, there is none like you. There is none worthier, none more awesome, none more amazing than you. You are high. We worship you, Lord, and Father, we ask for your mercy, the mercy that endures forever. Father, we ask for your provision. We ask for your guidance. We ask that you protect and, and you lead us so that we follow in the way that, that you have for us to go. Amen. Father, we ask that your mercy cover us Amen. and that your mercy endure forever in all our lives and in all that we do. We thank you that your mercy guides and provides and shows us the way. Father, we thank you for the ways in which you continue to provide for us and the ways you continue to bless us. Father, we ask that whatever you've given already to us, that we are not wasting. Father, it is our time to give you thanks. Use us appropriately. Thank you for the knowledge, the understanding, the insight, and the direction of how to use the things you've given us. Thank you that there is nothing that we have in our hands to throw either to those around us or to your mission or to what you've called us to do. Father, I thank you that everything that you've already assigned each and every one of us to do, that we are doing in the fullness of what you've called us to do. And if we're not, thank you, Father, for calling our attention to it. Thank you not just for calling our attention, because you're a Father who loves us. And in that, we thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. in the compassionate name of Jesus, in the courageous name of Jesus, you are the God, you are the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob. The Bible affirms you are the King of kings, the Lord of lords. We ask for your divine spiritual powers. We ask for the spiritual power of protection. The Bible affirms in the book of Daniel, chapter 6, verse 25, you protected Daniel in the lion's den. You protected Daniel from the powers of the lions, Jehovah protect each and every one of us. Amen. According to Psalm 121 verse 8, protect our going out. Amen. And our coming from this time forth and forevermore. 
Amen. Do not let us be victims of stray bullets. Amen. Do not let any major calamity befall any one of us. Amen. Protect us from all the dangers and evil forces of the Amen. world. Amen. We ask for the spiritual power of steadfastness. The Bible affirms in Colossians chapter 4, verse 2, that we must remain steadfast. Let us be steadfast in your word. Amen. Let us be steadfast as true Christians. Amen. Let us be steadfast in your prayers. Amen. The Bible affirms in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 17. The Bible states very clearly that we must pray without ceasing, that we must pray constantly. Give us the grace to walk in dignity. Amen. Give us the ability to desist from anything that can cause us to sin against you, Lord Almighty. Do not let us fall into Satan's temptations. Amen. And Jehovah, help us to remain consistent with you all the days of our lives. Amen. And let your Holy Spirit guide us into righteousness. We ask for the spiritual power of obedience. The Bible affirms in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 27, verse 10, that we may obey the voice of the Lord and keep your command. Give us the grace to obey your word according to your love. Amen. Plans. All this we have asked in Jesus' powerful name. Amen. O oh God of seal and affirmation, seal and affirm our prayers. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Hallelujah. Hosanna. Salvation. Praise the Lord. It is the hour of prayer, 12 noon prayer. Let us prepare our body, soul, and spirit to meet with our God. Choir, aim for 12 o'clock. Okay, and it's 239. Jesus, Agbara, me, Iwola, me, yo. Jesus, Agbara, me, Iwola, me, yo, me, Iwola, me, yo, me, me, fi, Igbagbo, woke, me,
Aye, I nipe kun. Oluwa, oluwa wa. Oru koni tini ni toni bobo aye. Iwo ti obo go re kauri a wo anu lati anu a wo mo wa ti o mo muni ni wo ti she la nagbara. Oni ki ota ni kole mo ota lu besa ni dakaje. Ni ba ti mo ru anu ra she kare o shupa ti ra wo ti wo ti she la ni sile. Kini o me ni ti wo fin be wo ti o me ni ti wo fin she ni re. Iwo sa da ni oni ra la di a ju alonu lo. Was if you go at your lad day any day, you want me to buy show warrants from Bobo go say a best seller. I tell you, I go to a time on my look by you, and your children are tell Janoku, two one called Jalonic Panoku, O Lua, O Lua, or who call it in Nini, Tony Boguaye, I told me to about Yano, Amen, or back with Petra Kikito, or about Danny, Joe, Danny Fuya, Jeff, Jehovah, and your dog, and your Tony Pekia, you call your girl, call your group by your for your seal, or just me to Piloto. Papa ojo Sunday kini ni no shuke jo, ire ojo jo, ire omi jo, ire le jo, ni oru kaje si ire aye waje ko jo. Amen. Be abati ko jako ma jo. Amen. Ida wale wa ko yori si. Amen. Adu pa ni tori pa wa pa luwa. Thank you Lord. Adu pa lori jo yi. Thank you Jesus. Ni tori pa angwabi angba adura adura wa si nche itogba. Thank you Jesus. Oh jaka sakri, oh jaka ni ni ya ti o terrorize. Thank you, Lord. you have been blessing us. You have been protecting us. Thank you, you have Lord. been guiding us Thank you, from Lord. all evil forces. You are all dying a day with us. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, every day. Thank you, Thank you everyone. I took my little shape. Lord, I want more work. I took it. Lord, I am Baba Joanne. You enjoy it. I took Thank you, Lord. But when we turn in a joke, turn to Baba Layo. I took it. For a joke, it is a real Layo. I took it. Thank you, Lord. A joke, KJ. O shuke jo. Twenty twenty two. I do it on Lonnie. Where, 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 where? I was December. I bought it that year. I took it. O ju watori bere o do it. Ni o kujes o ni kori kpadi o do it. Amen. Be shemba wa lo. Amen. 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 Ah, kabamo. Ijo yo kabamo. Pe kini mo wasi chochi leni ko shele siwa. An wa moto moto wa la accident. Ah, bele shu wa koko. Iba nu jia ye po lo tu lo si o jeko ba wa. Bita wa la na ta ti shishe. Bele ni kati wa to sari jala jala. Oni wanti shoot yo ko hon. Oni wanti, oni wanti shoot yo niku. Olo jade ni yon keji. O abe si sokun. O sokun gani. To mi ojo enda kuru kuru kuru. Ato ba jaya ma jaya lulu. Ogu e ka wole rife se jenle. O jeko ba wa. Bi lu iti da to. O jeka li ti wa she. Thank you Lord. A o rani fe se si. Thank you Jesus. Moto wa o jamu. Thank you Lord. A o rogu accident. Thank you Lord. Olu e gba o kwa e wa o. Amen. Ato ba jaya gba e yi wa o. Amen. An ke kwe o o si ngbo ti wa. Thank you Lord. O shu i di a wa o re. E bere o shu la le kwe e yi. Sande kiri ni. Ato ba jaya ma jaya lolo. Oshu je ko da afu wa. Oshu je kari je. Amen. Oshu je kari mu. Amen. Oshu je kari na. Amen. Oshu je kari lo. Amen. Ma jaya wa kisa ke yi ansho. Amen. Jaka ma guro le la yu ati alafia. Amen. A woman wa bi wa jaya ma guro wa la yu ati alafia. Amen. Ba she lo tan bo. Ni oru ko jesu. Ni oru ko je jesu. Anu re koma ba wa lo. Amen. Oju re re o lor koma wa kwe lu wa. Amen. And and so and Jiki Shagbarawa, it's not by our power; it's by the grace and mercy of God. 
Ojulere ati anu reja ko ma ba wa gbe Amen Ni gbogbo oju aye wa ma ja sokun Amen Lori omo ma ja sokun Amen Lori awa fura wa ma ja sokun Amen Gbogbo enikani eda ta binu obirin to wo wa susu to ni kaku o ni koku o O ni ka gbe gbin bebu anu Olorun ko ma ba wa gbe Amen Kamari che Amen. Kamari mu. Amen. Kamari no. Amen. Kamari lo. Amen. Nigba tegbe wa ba no wo ma ja no ju o. Amen. E sha mi dada. Nigba tegbe wa ba sori re ma ja sori buruku o. Amen. Awon eniyan kan wa abateni le je ni ma ja n ri ti wa pa je. Amen. Awon abateni je ma ja n ba ti wa je. Amen. Ni oruko Jesu o re ati anu je ko ma ba wa lo amen lo su oluwa sha nu fun wa amen lo su je ka ri je amen lo su oluwa sha nu fun wa amen ta ba ti nowo ka ma rowo na amen ta ba ti nowo sapo ka ma rowo yo amen ni oruko jesu agbadura leni nigba ta o pari osu ayo ni ka fi pari e amen ma ja fe kun pari e o amen ma ja fi banu je pari e o amen ohun rere ohun rere ohun rere ohun ayo ti wa ni ko je o amen o go ni fun oruko re hallelujah ka ma ko le mo le amen ka ma ra moto mo moto amen new moto new car new bus new everything tu 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 o tu o tu ni ko je ti wa o amen o su ke jo odun ni nigba ta o mo su ke so ati o su ke wa ati pari odun ayo ni kiti wa je amen ka ma lo layo ka ma bo layo amen o gbogbo ti an to ni rere ko je ti wa amen ko ni fun oruko mo yin hallelujah thank you lord thank you lord thank you jesus thank you in jesus mighty name we have prayed oh god of seal and affirmation seal and affirm our prayers in jesus mighty name we pray amen 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 in Jesus mighty name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hosanna. Hosanna. Salvation. Salvation. Let's give glory to God. Amen. The Lord is good all the time. I am a witness. I don't know about you. I am a witness. Amen. Do we have anybody fellowshipping with us in this house for the first time? If you're fellowshipping with us for the first time, can you share with a wave of hand? Praise the Lord. We choir, let us welcome them in our own traditional way. We have a traditional way. We welcome you. Church, let's welcome them. You are welcome in the name of the Lord. You are welcome in the name of the Lord. We can see all of the glory of the Lord, you are welcome in the name of the Lord. One more time, you are welcome in the name of the Lord. You are welcome in the name of the Lord. We can see all over you the glory of the Lord. You are welcome. Amen. So we welcome you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Already we can see the glory of God in your life. Amen. And that Shekinah glory of God will not depart from your life in the name of Jesus Christ. This is Cherubin and Seraphim Church Movement, Chicago number one, a.k.a. City Bible Church. We are Bible believing, Bible teaching, Bible practicing, and spirit led church. Amen. Amen. So, on behalf of the senior pastor, he's not on seat, and the council of elders, prophets, and pastors, I welcome you to this sanctuary today in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And uh, if you don't have a home church, admission here is free. Amen. Admission here is free. So you are in your house, in your father's house. So if you don't have a home church, we encourage you to come and fellowship with us. And you will know that the Lord is good. So church, silver and gold we have not. What we have, we will give them. We want to entertain you. We want to bless you with our prayers. So church, I cover all your hands with the blood of Jesus Christ. Can we stretch forth our hands and begin to shower blessings upon them? 
that they will not remain the same. The Lord who has ordered their footsteps here in this house will bless them and meet them at their very point of needs. Church, can we pray? Can we decree? In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Our God and our Savior. Father, we thank you. Because he said no one can come unto you except the one the Father has drawn. It is not by incident or by accident that these ones have stepped in here today. It is your design even before the foundation of the earth. Father, we say thank you, Lord. Father, we say thank you, Lord. As this one has stepped in here, oh Lord, the purpose by which you have designed it for them to be here today, let it be established in their lives in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we release your supernatural blessing upon them. Amen. We pray that you will meet them at, your very, at their very point of needs today in the name of Jesus. Amen. And they will not remain the same in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for answering our prayers. Lord, we commit those that are out there, oh Lord, the lost sheep of Israel. Father, you said if I be lifted up, you would draw men unto you. Lord Jesus will lift you up in the sanctuary. Father, draw them unto you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Add unto your church, O Lord. Amen. For as many that are already in the church, Lord, we pray that you will make us steadfast, O Lord. Amen. You will make us unmovable, unshakable, O Lord. Amen. You will continue to make us to have relentless spirit and the zeal to serve you more and more in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you for answering our prayers. Keep your church, Lord. Amen. Bless your church, Lord. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Amen. So, church, it's time to hear the word of God. Amen. Amen. The Lord is always true to his word. Amen. Amen. What did I say? Our God is always true to his word. Yes, amen. He said he sent forth his word, his word healeth. Amen. amen. Do you know the topic of the word of God today? What is it? So what has been happening since morning? Amen. amen. This, by, uh, this sermon has been selected over a year ago. A year ago, it has been selected. And guess what? Because it is heaven's design, today is showers of blessing. So physically, we are experiencing it. Spiritually, we are experiencing it. Can someone give God a round of applause? Amen. So I would like to, before we go into the hymn, I have uh, this announcement to tell you that the minister today, the preacher today, amen, amen. is a power pack man from the almighty God. Amen. And let me tell you, he is from Nigeria. Amen. 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 He is from Nigeria. Amen. He just came, his plane landed this morning. He was specially designed by God for him to be here today. Amen. Or else he will have been in Indiana. Amen. 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 If the Lord wanted to use the senior pastor, the senior pastor won't be in Indiana today. Amen. 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 If the Lord wanted to use a uh, prophet Bello, they won't be in Indiana today. Amen. So, but the Lord has packaged someone special for us today. Amen. 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 All the way from Nigeria. Hallelujah. The Lord is good. Why are we ready? Aim yes. for salmon. Can we have it on the screen?
living Jesus, there shall be showers of blessings. Uh, showers, uh, rain brings comfort. And I pray that the Lord will bring comfort on every soul in his presence today in the name of Jesus. Comfort beyond human thought. Comfort beyond human imagination. The Lord will make us comfortable in all ramifications in the mighty name of Jesus. And the blessings of the Lord we accomplish is comfort in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us pray. Father, in Jesus' name. Lord God Almighty, we thank you for the privilege and the grace granted unto us this morning. Lord, we bless your holy name because it pleases you to preserve us to this very moment. A lot have gone beyond. A lot are in the hospital, a lot are in the, their houses asking for what is going on outside. But here we are, hale and hearty. Father, we bless your holy name. We say be thou magnified in Jesus' name. Lord God Almighty, we have come before you to present ourselves, O God, and to, to receive of you, O God. We ask that you speak to us this morning in Jesus' name. Lord, we don't want to hear from man, but that that we have, you have for us today, that you will deposit in our hearts in the name of Jesus. And at the end of today's service, let be a noise of blessings in our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Amen. Amen. In Jesus. Let us say it. Let us say that. Um, uh, I want to thank God for this privilege given to every one of us this morning, even to present ourselves before the Lord. And I pray the reason why he has brought us up despite rain 
it will be fulfilled in our lives in Jesus' name. Amen. And I want to thank God for the church of God, the pastors in absence. Uh, they are on a mission to uh, in, in Indiana. And I want to thank God for the elders and the, the prophets for the privilege given to me to minister this morning. And I pray the Lord will continue to uphold the church of God in Jesus' name. Uh, this morning, the topic says showers of blessing. Showers of blessing. Uh, by definition, we know what shower is. Maybe we, you know, we take showers at home, but you know, that's an uh, aside. It's a, I mean, a kind of a definition of, of that. Uh, it's usually a light fall. Shower means a light fall or drizzles. Then downpour or rainfall, spray. Mysu or air. Why blessing means favor or gift bestowed by God, thereby bringing happiness. Gift bestow, gift conferred, gift entrusted, gift entrusted, gift granted, gift hand over to you, and which, I mean, become blessing unto, unto, unto us. And if you match the two together, it is downpour of favor and gift bestowed by God upon us, thereby bringing happiness. So showers of blessing, it is not a gift given to us by human being. It is not a gift that you or yourself can orchestrate. It's not something you can manufacture. But it is something that's given unto us by a supernatural being, which is God. And that is what you and I enjoy today because we are seated here, you know, looking beautiful, you know, and, you know, and, and that, that, I mean, that could be, I mean, it's as a result of the blessing of God in our lives. We are not sick. We are not in the hospital. We call upon him. He answers us. You know, even when we are sick, he raises us up. You know, he heals us. He protects us. And those are, you know, examples of his blessing. And we have a God that gives that. Praise the Lord. It is an outburst of success and breakthrough upon our life. And in John 3, the third John, uh, the electrolytes, you can help us pull up those uh, Bible verses. In third John 1, 2, the Bible made us to understand that, behold, it says, beloved, I wish above all things that thou may prosper. Be in health, even as thy soul prosper. Praise the Lord. This is one of the gifts of, of God for our life. And that these are the thoughts of God for our life. He said, Be, oh, Beloved, I pray that thou pr may prosper. God wants prosperity for you and I. And he wants us to be in good health. And th those are the examples of showers of blessings for us. And I pray it will happen upon your life, upon my life today. In the mighty name of Jesus. God has also promised us in the book of Ezekiel. Ezekiel 34 20, from verse 20. Ezekiel 34 from verse 20. Can you pull that up? God has promised us blessing there. Yeah. He said, uh, 20, verse 20. Uh, you pull 31. Okay, 20. Therefore, thus said the Lord Jehovah unto them. Behold, I, even I, which judge between fat and sheep, and lean sheep, next, and, for, and as for my sheep, they eat that which ye have trodden with your feet, and they drink that which has foul with your, I mean, your feet. Can you go to 25? And I will make them a covenant of peace. That is a promise for you. It's a promise for me. God is saying he's going to make a, a covenant of peace for you. He's going to make a co covenant of peace for me. And I will cause evil beasts to cease out of the land. The Lord is promising us this morning that when you, I mean, when you operate under showers of blessing, he's going to cause evil beasts, anything that can bring trouble, anything that can bring calamity, he's going to cause them to cease from our land. And they shall dwell securely in wilderness and sleep in wood. That the, the Lord is going to secure us and we're going to sleep in sand earth. The next one. And I will make them 
and the place around round about my hill a blessing, and I will cause the shower to come down in its season. Is God knows the season, He knows when you need a particular thing, He knows when to bring down His blessing upon you and I, and that is why He's saying, In due season, it will cause His blessing to fall upon us, He will not bring it when you don't need it, and He will not leave you stranded when you actually needed it. So he said, in due time, he will cause his blessing to shower upon us, and there shall be showers of blessing. These are the promises of God. Uh, it is not man that is speaking here. The Bible says, God, our God, is not a man that will lie, nor a son of man that will repent of his word. It is a man that will promise you, okay, I'm going to give you a $1,000, come tomorrow. When you get there in the morning, you'll say, uh, you know, um, uh, you know, the money is, you know, he's going to say sorry. But God doesn't do that. He will never say a thing that he will not do. And that is our God. So we need to cleave unto him. And of a truth, everyone born of a woman need or wants blessing. Is that true? Yes, I need blessing. I don't know of you. I need blessing. I know every one of us need blessing. And, okay. As you need blessing, I need blessing. Then when we talk about blessing, blessings of God are in different dimensions. We could consider blessing from many angles, and which means what I mean, what is a blessing to you might not have deep meaning to another person. And what blesses another person might not have a deep meaning to another person. But we could categorize the blessings of God as physical and spiritual. And the physical blessings every one of us is clamoring for, or we actually wanted, we can say, I want a house, or you want a house. And perfectly, you've gotten one, you still want more. Is that so? Then we want cars, we talk about jewelries, landed properties, business. It could be job, it could be good marriage, it could be good family, family member, it could be good friends, it could be skills, it could be academic, good academic performance. And it could be wisdom of God. It could be knowledge of God. It could be understanding of God. Those are spiritual blessings that God wants to give to you and I. So at a point in time, there is no way we can do without the blessings of God. And blessing could be, okay, in the spiritual, we talk about the discerned spirit. A lot of us want discern, you know, discerning spirit. A lot, of, a lot of us want to grow in faith. A lot of us want fruits of the spirit which are love, joy, peace, peculi- I mean, you know, and so, and so on. So those are the blessings of God that we should have, that should operate in our life. But when we talk about showers of blessing, something is peculiar about that. When we talk about showers of blessing, something is peculiar about that. Because when we talk about shower, shower cuts across every facet of our life. It doesn't stop at a, I mean, at a particular thing. And likewise, for, I mean, for those people that came in rain this morning, could anyone testify to it that if you walk under rain, you're going to be totally wet? Is it correct? And you cannot be in a shower at home, taking your bath, and some portion of your, uh, of your body is going to be wet, and the other one is going to be dry. No. So when we talk about shower, it cuts a- across all the facets of human being. And that is what God is ready to do for you and I this morning. He want to bless you. He want to bless me. He want to release those things that we've been clamoring for. Those things that we've been looking unto him for. And that is what he want to do for you this morning. And our God is God of impossibility possible. He makes things possible and he makes things beautiful in his own time. And I pray you and I, we will be blessed this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. This very month will not go without you being blessed. A remarkable blessing. The blessing that can be seen. The physical blessing that can be seen. The Lord will release to you and I this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's open our Bible to the book of Jeremiah 29. And see one of the promises of God. Jeremiah 29. Verse 11. Okay. Yeah, continue now. Mm-hmm. 
praise the Lord. And that is the pronunciation of God to your life. He said he knows he, he, the thought that he thought towards you. That is, I know what I want to use your life for. And I know what, I mean, how I want to decorate your life. You might not know it. You might not see it. Your family might not see it. You might not be able to comprehend it. But the maker of heaven and earth, he that fashioned you in his own likeness, says he knows the thought that he has towards your life. He said the thought of peace. God is not going to give us trouble. And he said are not of evil towards taking us, I mean, to an expected end. Praise the Lord. That is one of the things that God wants to do for you. Then, showers of blessing are will of God for your life. They are will of God for your life. It is what God desire for you. It is what God actually wants you to dwell in. Let us see that in Psalm 37, 25. Psalm 37, 25. I have been young, and now I am old. I have never seen the righteous forsaken, nor the seed, the, I mean, nor his seed begging. He's saying here that, you know, he has seen a lot. He has been young, and now he's old. But through the journey of life, he has never seen a righteous one. Anyone that walks with God, being forsaken, nor their children beg for food. And this is one of the promises of God for you and I. Can you go to 27, verse 27? Depart from evil, do good, and dwell for more. Continue. For Jehovah loveth justice, and forsaketh not the saints. They are preserved forever, but the seed of the wicked shall be cut off. You and I will not be cut off in Jesus' name. The Lord will preserve you and I forever in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Preservation is one of the, I mean, the, the blessing, the fine blessing that we enjoy. Yes. Uh, Twenty. 29. The righteous shall inherit the land and dwell therein forever. You and I, the Lord is telling us this morning that we will inherit the land. Amen. We will not be a cast away. Amen. We will not be a cast out. Amen. And he said we will inherit that land. Amen. And he said the mouth of the righteous taketh of, taketh of wisdom and his tongue speaketh judgment, justice. Next one. The law of is God is in his heart. None of his steps shall slide. And those are the promises. Your, your steps this year will not slide to destruction. In the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord is going to uphold you. He's going to uphold me. In the mighty name of Jesus. Now that we know that the Lord loves you and I. And he actually want to bless us. And actually have, I mean, he has an expected end for you and I. And he actually wanted something good. He said, you know, when Jesus was going to, I mean, going back to his father, he said more than, he said he's going to send his Holy Spirit to us, that more than what he did, we're going to do. Praise the Lord. You know, that means we are far more than what we are experiencing now. We are far, far more than I have not I totally logged into what God wanted me to, to do here. Likewise, you, the blessing that you thought you are enjoying, are enjoying now is far, far lower than what God has, you know, designed for your life. If only we can see it. If only we can log into it. If only we can walk with God. And that is now that we know. How can we provoke God to release showers of blessing on us? How can I provoke God? We can provoke God. You know, we can walk in a way that we look and say, ah, this is my son. is due for blessing. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Number one says, giving and positioning yourself right. Giving and positioning yourself right. Can you pull up Luke 6, 38? Luke 6, 38. Give and it will come I mean, give and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down and shaking together, running over. Shall men give into your bosom? For with the same measure that ye made wither, it shall be measured unto you. 
giving is the Lord talking here that when you give, you know, Yoruba we say, okeni that whoever that gives, your hand is always or is always at the top. Whoever that want to receive, the hand is at the bottom. And that is what it is. That means when you are giving, the Lord will continue to bless you. And that is what he's saying. That give, it will, whatever you give, it will surely come back to you. Whether in the same way that you gave or in the other way around. A lot of people are preserved today as a result of their giving. A lot, I mean, the, our God is a God of multi-dimensional way. You know, when you do a thing, it will come for you in another way. When you give to him in this way, it will come for you in a different way. And that is why he say, give. The same measure that you give, that same measure is going to come back. He say, good measure. God doesn't give things that, doesn't, that are not worthy of it. God doesn't give things that are rotten. You know, he gives a good measure. It's going to come back to you. So number one is when you give, the Lord is going to come back to you. Then to who should we give? To whom should we give? We can give to God. And we can give to humanity. Praise the Lord. We can give to God. We can give to humanity. And giving to God is saying you could give yourself, number one. It is not money, money, or material thing. The first thing that God is demanding from you and I is ourself, myself. And that is where giving our life to Christ is very important than every other thing. He's saying in Romans 12:1. That we should present ourselves a living sacrifice. Praise the Lord. Only and acceptable unto him. You know, present, your, present, I mean, present yourself a living sacrifice. He, if he's even saying there, he said, he besieged you. That is, he's begging us that to present ourselves only unto him. A living sacrifice, acceptable unto him. This is our reasonable sacrifice. Praise the Lord. And that is the number one thing God is expecting from you and I. There is no way he could bless us if we have not actually given ourselves unto him. And that means we need to surrender ourselves completely to Jesus before we could expect anything tangible from him. Can you pull up Mark 10, 29, 29? Mark 10, 29. So giving to God is very, very important. And Jesus answered and said, Fairly I say unto you, there is no man that has left his house and brethren and sister or father or mother or wife or children or lands for my sake. He's saying, for you to have given yourself to God, sometimes your family member might reject you. Sometimes you might lose, you know, some friends. They might not want to do, I mean, go along with you because the way of your life is totally different. And the Lord is saying that no one among you who has left his family, father, mother, land, and all of those things, for his sake, continue. But he shall receive a hundredfold now in this time. Houses, uh-huh. Praise the Lord. Thank you so much. And he's saying there that we're going to, he's going to give, I mean, those things that you left, that he's going to give back to you in multiple folds. And this is what the Lord is saying, that you giving yourself to God, you separating yourself from the world, you not going in the way that other people are going, doesn't mean you are alone. And it doesn't mean you're going to be missing some things. When you have given to him, he's going to return back to what you have given to him in multiple folds. And that is what the Lord is saying to us this morning. So the number one thing there is giving yourself to God. And I pray as you do that, the Lord will accept you and I as a living sacrifice in Jesus' name. Amen. Giving is another way. It's in the way of tithe and offering. Tithe and offering. Praise the Lord. A lot of us are still struggling here. And I pray the Lord will help us in the mighty name of Jesus. It will help us to do accordingly to his word. It is a commandment. In Malachi 3, 10 to 12, 
he commanded us to do that. And if we should do that, he said he's going to, I mean, he's going to preserve our soul. You know, he's going to cut away cankerworm and devourer that will have been taking those, our income that we ought to be useful for us. He was going to cut all, the, all of those things away. And I pray the Lord will do so for us in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Proverbs 3, 9 to 10 say, Honor the law with thy substance and with the first fruit of thy increase. And these are the criteria. These are the, 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 these are the, the things that we need to do in order for us to experience showers of blessing. The book of Deuteronomy 16, 17. Deuteronomy 16, 17. He's, tell, he's asking us to give as he is, I mean, we are able according to the blessing that the Lord has given unto us. Every man shall give as he is able according to the blessing of the Lord, thy God, which he had given thee, praise the Lord, according to what you are giving. You know your income. You know what your take home is. And you know what you could afford. He's asking you, give according to the blessings of God. And in so doing, the showers of blessing will come upon your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Then another point is that we should sow bountifully. You know, we should sow bountifully. If we want to do business and we are not actually invest in it, the profit might not be forthcoming. So when you sow bountifully unto the Lord, then we should be rest assured that the, the, the profit is going to come. Then another point is we should pay our foul. Do not make a foul that you are not going to pay. Sometimes when we are looking for something, you know, we are quick at making fouls. God, if you can do this, I will do this. If you can answer me in this way, I'm going to do this. But the moment he does that, we forget about the foul. And the Lord is still counting on it. Those could be an hindrance to showers of blessing. So, be, I mean, when we make foul, let us pay the foul. Then, the other part is giving to humanity. Giving to humanity. God places you where you are today because of a reason. There are some that you are better off. And there are some that are better off you and I. Praise God. But the Lord has pulled you out from that place that you are and placed you where you are because of some destinies. Praise the Lord. And as I am, there are some destiny attached to me. As you are, there are some destinies attached to you. Then if you are not ready to help, how do you want them to be fulfilled? If we don't learn to share $10, then when we have a million dollars, it will be difficult to share. If we don't learn to share $10, then it will be difficult to share a million dollars. So let us cultivate that habit. That the, what God has given to you is not for you alone. It is for you, it is for your family, for your children, and the people, are not only your family member, the lot of people that are in need on the street. And the Lord will help us to do so in the mighty name of Jesus. He said we could... If want to be able to give, we could work hard in order to help the needy, to help the widows, to help the orphans, to help the sick. Let us see what the book of Acts 20.35 say. Acts 20.35. And now, behold, I know that ye all, among whom I have gone preach, the kingdom of God. Praise the Lord. Oh, sorry. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that is the Lord talking to us that we should support the weak. You know, that it is more blessed to give than to receive. And let's see what the book of Proverbs 22, 9 says. In giving to humanity. Proverbs 9, 19, 17. Sorry. Proverbs 19, 17. Okay. He that had pity upon the poor, lended unto the Lord, 
and that which he has given, we he pay him back. If you have given to the poor, he said you lend God something. The money you are giving to those needy doesn't go in faith. He said you are lending it to God. And when you lend something out, you're sure that that thing is going to come back. And he's saying that he's going to pay you again. Praise the Lord. It's like you are piling up treasure for yourself in heaven. And that is how it is. And Luke 6.30 says, Give to every man that asketh. Give to every man that asketh. Do not withhold back. Proverbs 28.27 says, He that giveth to the poor shall not lack. Praise the Lord. If you give to the poor, it shall not lack. Then how do we give to God and to humanity? We should give cheerfully. Praise the Lord. It is not that, okay, oh, they said we should pay this money again. Um, oh, oh. I think whenever you grudge, you know, about what you want to give, just pocket it. Because you are, God will not accept something that you've, you've grudged over. Praise the Lord. It should be a cheerful thing. Oh, God, if it is $1, let with all joy, God, I want to give this to you. If it is $5, God, I want to give this to you. And that is the moment. It's going to be acceptable. Then what are the results of giving? When you give to God, when you give, if I, 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 I mean, we could have witness. When you bless somebody with something tangible, within you, that very day, you'll be happy. That you something you've done some you've impacted a life today, and there are they are, they are blessings, there are results of showers of blessings. In the house of God, there shall be there will be refiver. When we give in the house of God, there will be refiver because there will be fund to fund a lot of things. You know, there's gonna be growth, church of God is gonna develop, and there will be a first, there will be a first. People are going on missions. People are going to orphanage homes. People are giving to the need. I mean, the church is giving to, you know, it is what we give that they're using for those. And if in evangelism, there is, you yourself can go. Your material things can go, which are your money, your cloth. Then your prayer can go. Praise the Lord. And as we do that, God will bless us in Jesus' name. Amen. Then when you give. Those things that emanate from that is peace all around. You and I is going to have peace. When we have, when there is showers of blessing, there will be peace. Showers of blessing brings peace. Showers of blessing bring joy and happiness. Showers of blessing brings comfortability and calmness. A, a life that is troubled. A life that is worried. Whenever God rains his blessings upon such life, there will be calmness. There will be peace. Then there will be healing. For those that are sick, when there is showers of blessing upon them, blessings of healing, then they will be healed. For those that want progress, there will be progress. For those that want freedom from the shackles and bondage of Satan, when there is showers of blessing, the Lord will break those shackles and they will be free. For those that are operating under causes, the Lord will break those causes. And it's even, I mean, it's even recorded that Noah gave an offering. When the old world was under curse, God did a sacrifice, which was an offering, and the old curse was lifted from the face of the, of the earth. So your giving can break your generational curse. When you pray to God that, Lord, I want to lay this, in, I mean, as a result of this, I want this and this to go. And lo and behold, it's going to go. And the Lord will help you and I in the name of Jesus. When there is showers of blessing, stagnation are lifted. New name are being given to us because someone that was operating in poverty, when the blessings of God comes, you're going to have new name. You know, the Lord will give you and I new names in the mighty name of Jesus. You're going to have new associates, new friends as a result of the showers of blessing. Then there will be better atmosphere for you and I to serve God when we receive showers of blessing. So I just want to charge us this morning. That showers of blessing comes only from God and not from any man. Amen. A man can receive nothing except God is given to him from above. That is John 3, uh, 27. God makes us different from others. What have you that has not given to you? What is that thing that you have that's not been given to you? There is nothing. You say every good thing comes from, from God above. Praise the Lord. And as a result of that, God is not a man that should lie, neither the son of man that will repent of his promises. Praise the Lord. 
And Philippians 4, uh, 19 says, And my God shall supply your needs according to my riches in glory, showers of blessing. All your needs, all whatever we ever wanted, the Lord says is going to show, supply that. And that God's food is not for the dogs or the outcasts. Praise the Lord. So if we actually want to experience showers of blessing, we have to be his own indeed. Let us see what Matthew 15, 25 to 27 says. Matthew 15, 25 to 27. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The Lord will never give what is meant for his children to a dog. And who do we class or who can we call a dog? He that has not been washed in the blood of the lamb. So we're encouraging ourselves. Define blessing or showers of blessing doesn't just come. It comes on those that has been washed in the blood of the, of, of the lamb. So let us, is there any way we still come short of that? Or that we are not totally washed? Let us come back to God this morning. And lo and behold, that the people in the world that doesn't know God are being blessed. It doesn't mean that the blessing is coming from God. Praise the Lord. The devil prepares his own for the time he's going to destroy them. And it's ready to give more and more to them so that they don't think that there is God that saves somewhere. So you see somebody lavishing in wealth and blessing, and you might want to be jealous, or you might want to be covetous. Ah, this one doesn't go to church now. Eh? This one doesn't, you know, and he's being blessed. He has all of those. It's like a, 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 a hen, you know, a, a chicken that's been kept in a, in a cage. And it's being fed, you know. It's been, when you are ready to kill the chicken, you draw the chicken out of the cage and you kill. And that is what happens. And that a system, you know, devil is so wise that he makes a system so real. And that everybody is going to be running to it. That everybody is running to a particular thing doesn't, doesn't mean it's right. So let us wait upon the Lord. Let us wait for his own blessing. He actually blesses his people when we wait. Only that they are time for, I mean, that's being appointed for an individual. God will not give you a million dollars when he knows you have not been able to ma manage hundred dollars. Praise the Lord. If you can manage hundred dollars, it will not release a million. So you have to, okay, what do I need to do? Am I actually standing right in him? Am I actually matured enough in order to, for him to open up the earphone and bless us? And I pray that Lord will do so for you and I in Jesus' name. It's a season of showers of blessing. That showers of blessing will not outflow you in the mighty name of Jesus, in your home, in your house, in your health, in your finances, in that school. The showers of blessing will be so real that people will say, indeed, this one is the blessed of the Lord. And that should, I mean, that so shall it be in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us stand to our feet as we pray. Let's take that song once again. There shall be showers of blessing. This is the promise of God. There shall be season refreshing. Sent from the Savior above, showers of blessings, showers of blessings we need. Mercy's drops round us are falling. Our most high God in Jesus' name, the Father of the heavens and the earth, 
the one that made all things in his own time, and the one that made the old things that are beautiful in his sight. The Bible says, and the morning and the night, they were, the Lord looked and everything that he made, and he said they were so good. Praise the Lord. Thank you this morning because you made us so beautifully. And you have promised us, your promises are numerous and uncountable. And we want to ask this morning, oh God, that you remember your promises of showers from heaven, the showers of blessing, that you open the floodgates of heaven, that you pour your showers of blessing upon us in Jesus' name. Yeah. Oh Lord God Almighty, as we proceed this Let's begin to carry your blessings about in the mighty name of Jesus. In our homes, in our job, in our family, in our business, in our Christian life. Oh God, let us experience you bountifully in the mighty name of Jesus. For as many that have gone for an anniversary in Indiana, we ask so oh God that you keep them and preserve them in Jesus' name. Oh, Lord God Almighty, we commit our soul, body, and spirit unto you this week and the rest of this year. Let there be no sound of evil, no sound of wickedness, no sound of money, no sound of disease, no sound of death in the, anybody's house in Jesus' name. And so shall it be in Jesus' name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the living Alleluia. Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. If I were you, I would turn to my neighbor. Amen. If I were you, I would turn to my neighbor. Yeah, yo, Joe is my no. Yo, Joe is the neighbor of Babash. Uh -huh. Amen. I